Course Title, Fundamental of Education Prepared by, Shivraj Tripathi Bachelors of Education, MPA, and MED SSRP School Sector Reform Plan, SSRP, to Post SSRP, From Access to Quality School Sector Reform Plan, SSRP, 2009-2015 The School Sector Reform Plan, SSRP, implemented in Nepal since 2009 aims to expand access and equity, improve quality and relevance, and strengthen the institutional capacity of the entire school system. Funded through a pool of development partners, DPS, one together with the Government of Nepal, CON, and the Global Partnership for Education, GP, the SSRP program has tackled long-lasting challenges in the field of education in Nepal. The program was developed within the framework of wider poverty concerns and has been aligned to poverty reduction strategies, both nationally and internationally. As such, the SSRP objectives are relevant to the development plans, and reflect the Education for All, EFA, Goals and the Millennium Development Goals, MDG. The SSRP program is expected to end in July 2016 and the key implementing actor is the Ministry of Education, MO, using a sector-wide approach, SWAP. The declared objectives of the SSRP are the following. Ensure equitable access of quality basic education for all children, aged 5-12 years. Expand access to early childhood education and development, ECED, services for children of 4 years to facilitate their holistic development and to prepare them for basic education. Enhance functional literacy and competencies among young people and adults. Increase access to, as well as equity, quality, and relevance of secondary education. Equip secondary level students with soft skills based technical and vocational education. Improve the performance of the MO service delivery system and develop capacity to implement critical reforms. Enhance teacher qualifications and professional competencies to facilitate student learning. Monitor program inputs, processes, and outputs and evaluate the impact of education interventions. Improve the efficiency and effectiveness of aid available for the SSRP. Relevance With regard to relevance, the analysis revealed that the SSRP helped address existing disparities linked to caste, ethnicity, religion, and geography, but also helped avert potential conflicts and political divisions. Most strategies aimed at improving access proved to be adequate. Implementation, especially at local level, still shows substantial problems, mostly due to lacking management capacity. Additional efforts on capacity building and management are required to secure a lasting impact. One of the most important innovations of the SSRP is the restructuration of the basic education which now comprises grade 1 to 8. The longer basic education cycle also helps incorporate literacy and lifelong learning programs. Recommendations linked to relevance mostly address the need to secure and adopt the Eighth Amendment of the Education Act, while continuing to align the program strategies to the changing development plans. Enhancing the dialogue between central level actors and local governance structures will help increase accountability. Effectiveness the evaluation found that access and equity have increased in most levels of education, notably in ECED, basic, secondary and non-formal education. Gender parity for students has been reached in basic and secondary education. Though access has increased across the board, disparities still exist. This is especially true for certain geographical areas, children with disabilities and children from specific castes or ethnic groups. Learning outcomes and student-teacher ratio have improved considerably, though there again, large disparities persist. A set of minimum enabling conditions have been designed to provide school communities with a benchmark for their operational planning. The early grade reading program has potential to reduce dropout rates. Programs fostering mother tongue education have not yet shown impact on learning outcomes. Non-formal education and literacy programs have been successful and have produced high numbers of neoliterates. Next to questions related to access and equity, quality of education is another complex field. Although teacher trainings in content and method were provided under SSRP, new learning methods have not been transferred to the classrooms. Additionally, to teacher training, competency-based curricula were developed and soft skills programs were piloted. The didactical material produced by different projects still has to be documented and categorized in view of its integration into the curricula and its large-scale distribution. The timely distribution of textbooks also has a direct impact on learning achievements. To reduce delays in textbook distribution, the production process was decentralized and private companies were involved. Relevant assessment programs are essential to the quality development. The SSRP introduced the National Assessment for Student Achievements, NASA, under the Education Review Office, ARO, to provide data on learning outcomes, repetition rates, and dropouts. While it did lead to important discussions on the weak impact of teacher trainings and measures for quality improvement, the district education offices and the regional education directorates only recently started follow-up actions. The formative evaluation instrument, on the other hand, is not yet fully understood by stakeholders, which has compromised its implementation. With regards to capacity building and governance, the evaluation found that weak teacher development and lack of intrinsic motivation due to the low social value of the teacher profession has led to high absenteeism, low performance, and strong political interference. 
supervision is quite weak within the school management system, not only in terms of the low frequency of the resource persons, RP, school visits, but also due to the lack of pedagogical advice given to teachers. SSRP introduced decentralized planning strategies which enabled the local stakeholders to prepare plans for the individual schools. These strategies have been useful in bringing local education stakeholders together for planning and monitoring the earthquake of March-April 2015 brought new challenges, as teachers now have to teach several grades in one classroom in an environment that is still affected by infrastructural damage. Furthermore, the psychological consequences also play a role, with the disaster creating post-traumatic situations in the classroom. Recommendations to increase effectiveness of the SSRP are related to transparency, tracking mechanisms, and performance monitoring aspects. The focus away from access to equity and quality is recommended to reach better learning outcomes. Efficiency. Education has become a priority sector for the GON, for which investments have steadily increased. Since the SSRP was launched, public financial management, PFM, has been considered as one of the priority areas for improvement. Unfortunately, financial record keeping has not yet been computerized across the board and this hampers the quality and timeliness of financial reports at both central and district level. Social audit processes have become more of a ritual rather than a true monitoring exercise. The Educational Management Information System, EMIS, especially the FLASH system, has continued to improve in terms of quantity, quality, and timeliness. Recommendations for efficiency are mostly systemic, concerning, for example, the databases, the institutionalized planning processes, the education budget and its management. Impact in spite of good results in access and equity, the poor quality of education still produces school leavers who have not acquired the necessary competencies to improve their economic situation. In the field of quality and relevance, actions such as the timely distribution of textbooks, the implementation of minimum enabling conditions, as well as the NASA and CA evaluations showed considerable immediate effects. Innovative procedures and organizational set UPS have been created to increase the good governance and capacity building of institutions. Recommendations for ensuring a higher impact concern decision-making structures and responsibilities, so as to make changes and programs more accountable to all. Sustainability. The community's involvement has been a key approach to ensure sustainability. The new local structures have helped make SSRP activities more visible to the community and create greater acceptance.